Hi guys, welcome to the Fashionpreneur Talk with Itana Styling Podcast. How are you? How is your fashion business? If you don't know me, my name is Sandra. I am a fashion stylist and a fashion business consultant. And this podcast is about having genuine conversations about fashion entrepreneurship and getting your questions answered. So if you have any questions at all, email me at info at gitanastyling.com. Gitana is G-I-T-A-N-A styling.com or I will leave a link below for you, okay? I also also want to invite you to hang out with us inside our free Facebook group, the Fashion Entrepreneur Club Hangout. In there, we host events, we answer questions, we share resources, so you're always super invited. Now, if you need some organization and focus in your fashion business, I invite you to check out our Etsy shop with workbooks and planners for your fashion business. If you want support and guidance with these planners, I encourage you to join our online subscription, which is the Planner Club. Every month you get a new planner and you get our support and community. And also if you want more guidance, more support, I invite you to check out our online program, the Fashion Business Online Incubator is 10 weeks with me. We work on your brand. So you get to know your brand, build your brand and market it successfully. So I'll leave links below to all of that stuff in case that you're interested. And let's get started with the podcast, okay? Hey guys, welcome to this episode. In this one, we are going to talk about um, how to get rid of the starving artist mentality. So you probably have heard about this phrase, right? Like, oh, like a starving artist all, all over, you know, everywhere um, throughout your life, right? And this is about, you know, a mentality um that you know it's it comes from society it can come from school it can come from um your family right where you know someone who is an artist who wants to practice something artistic like painting or drawing or uh, sewing or designing dresses or doing makeup whatever is related to art making cakes whatever it is right um they cannot make a living out of it so then they become starved artists right we hear a lot of stories of painters for example that grew up you know super poor um eating uh, from a can of beans, you know, trying to practice their art and not selling anything and never making it happen. And this is a concept that is in everyone's mind, right? And that we have to get rid of in order to have successful uh, businesses. And us in the Fashion Entrepreneur Club community, we're filled with artists, right? Like people who like to sew, who like to design, who like to do makeup, who like to um, dress other people, who like to do so many things that are related to art. Everything that we do is art, right? So I want to put out there this video today sharing some tips with you so you can change this mentality because even if you don't think about it consciously, it's there. And also, you know, it might be around you, right? And the people uh, around you, your friends or your family, people who affect you um, or that have an influence in you daily. So especially if you're starting out in this journey, right? Because as we uh, grow and we continue doing the thing and, and circumstances start changing it, then we, we can, you know, start changing those ideas. But in the beginning, it's really hard, right? So I just wanted to share with you some tips to get rid of this starving artist mentality, whether this is something that is in the back of your mind or something that you don't see at all in there or or that is really front of mind for you or like, you know, how am I going to make this happen? You know, I have this, this um, talent, right? I have this dream that I want to accomplish and how am I going to make a living out of it, right? The mindset part is really important because if not, you're putting you're working really hard you're doing everything but then there's a voice behind you know they're saying you know this is not gonna work or this is not gonna be enough like we have ideas also of like only a certain amount of people can be models a certain amount of people can be successful designers a certain amount of people make it in the fashion industry all of these ideas that go along with this concept of the starving artist so I say let's get rid of this starving artist movement and let's create a thriving artist uh, artist movement right and so let's get started with these tips today so the first tip I have for you, okay, is to um, look for role models that defy, right, this 
theory or this mindset, okay? So look for people who you truly admire, who are doing exactly what you're doing or something very similar to what you're doing, who are doing it successfully, okay? Um, designers, um, stylists, whatever it is that you do, right? Look for role models who have done it successfully and follow them, read about their story, um, write down quotes that that they share uh, online or in their books or, or whatever, right? Um, their talks, right? Listen to their talks if they have any motivational talks. Um, download pictures and keep them in different places to keep you inspired and keep Keep you going and what this is going to do is going to give you data it's going to give you actual proof right to prove to yourself right that this can happen this you this is proof that this is a theory that this is an idea um that people have or society or a group of people right that it's not true okay so that's going to help you with your brain so this is something that you should do consistently right you should follow these people consistently see what they're all about um read about them right um see what they're doing how did they get over their own doubts and kept on going and you don't have to go crazy and follow a bunch of people but at least follow one or two that you really like and admire and start you know learning from them not only from the craft side of how great they do they, their work, but also the mindset part, how they overcame struggles, how they overcame mindset um, uh, problems and things like that to get going, okay? Now, the second thing I wanna say is, you know, the second tip is stop justifying how you're gonna make it, how is it gonna work out, how your idea is valid or whatever it is. Stop justifying, stop spending energy, um, explaining to people how something is going to work out because first you're spending a lot of time doing it, wasting it, right? Um, spending a lot of energy, energy that you could be putting into something productive, like meeting people who already believe <laughs> in this stuff, right? Who are already being successful at it, um, who can support you, right? You have to understand that the people who think this way, um, they believe in that theory. And also, you know, they don't have the dream that you have. That is your dream. You are the one that has the vision, that has the passion, that has the feelings, that has the determination. So it's impossible for them to feel it because they don't have it. They don't see it right? And that's totally normal. Maybe for them, they have a different passion, right? And maybe those ideas that they have that are, you know, being reflected on you on, on saying, you know, maybe you, this is not for you, you can make it happen. They're struggling um, with themselves as well, right? So have a little bit com of compassion, just don't spend time and energy, you know, justifying all this stuff, accept it that some people are not going to, you know, understand, right? And understand that you are the one that sees the vision and has that feeling and that's for a reason. And that's what you should pay attention to and you should invest um, in that, okay? Now, another tip that I have for you is to keep track of your success. Remember that you're building something, you're creating something that doesn't exist, okay? You're building a business, you're creating a brand, um, you are physically creating a product maybe, right? Or offering a service that doesn't exist in the market um, or that something similar exists in the market, but this is gonna have your mark, right? Your personality, your take on it. So everything that you do, counts so i recommend grabbing you know buying a nice notebook or going to our shop on etsy and getting a nice uh, digital planner or digital notebook right and start you know every day just write down at the end of the day what you accomplished that day even if they're small things even if you know whether they're big things or small things because everything counts you know um registering your company or your business right um you know sending that email to that person uh, putting that post on social media all of those pieces all of those little things and the big things that you do count because this is like a puzzle little pieces little pieces little pieces and then all of a sudden at some point in time you will see the whole thing right so keep track okay, um, every day if you can. And that would help you, you know, keep yourself motivated and you will see, wow, look at all the stuff that I did. Because a lot of the times we just look at the big things like how much money I, I made this month or how many sales I had or did I finish 
I don't know, this product or this line, this collection, you know, big things. And the little things count also because without the little things, we couldn't be doing the big things. So I recommend, again, to grab a piece of paper or keep a notebook, a nice notebook, and write those things down so you can start seeing how everything comes together. And my last tip for you is, you know, surround yourself with people who believe like you in this process okay join communities um, hire mentors be part of groups that are doing what you're doing that are striving in their business that they're working that they're thriving that they're learning that they're moving forward because there's a certain energy right in those groups in that place right that moves you forward it keeps you inspired everybody shares their questions everybody shares their ups and downs um you don't feel alone you get support along the way, uh, which is why I always uh, recommend joining our Facebook group, the Fashion Entrepreneur Club, um, or any of the programs that we have available for you, okay? So I hope these, help, these tips really help you, okay? Just stay focused, you know, and let's just, you know, eliminate, get rid of this starvist, uh, starving artist mentality that affects so many people nowadays. I mean, with technology, we can see how, for example, like um, artists, uh, people who sing, right? They're artists as well, and they want to sing and they want to make it in the industry. And there's so many beliefs and so many stories, right? In society, with family, with friends of, you know, it's really hard, you're not going to make it, all of that stuff. And nowadays, you know, you can see someone on Instagram singing and, and, and you know, working really hard and making a career out of it, right? We see it all the time on TV, people who go and sing at different competitions and they make it happen, right? Or people who cook, right? And they do it from home and then they have their little restaurant and then they go on a TV show or they go to a morning show or whatever, right? So there's an avenue. These artists, starving artists thing is not true. And the reason we don't see as many artists practicing their craft successfully is because people have this idea that they cannot make it happen. That perhaps working on a nine to five where they already know the paycheck and they already, you know, know how it's going to look, you know, that's going to be the security. Um, and that's going to be, you know, the solid plan, but, um, there's ways to do it also in the artistic world. So I don't know. I just hope that I just hope that this helps you. And if you have any questions at all, let me know, leave me some comments below, join us inside the Facebook group, and let me know if you have any other tips that could help the community, which truly, truly would appreciate it. So thank you so much for hanging out with me, and I will see you guys in the next episode, okay? Bye, guys.